Hello everybody and welcome back! It's been some time! First of all, thank you very much Doom Fan Forever for the follow! Much appreciated! Enjoy the milk bones! Sent a beautiful email to Ukin, a game company based in Canada. Share it on your Discord, none of which will be repeatable on stream. Okay, thank you for the warning. I'll, ta I'll take a look at it afterwards. Super excited and welcome screen enough to make peeps follow you. No, exactly! It's, it's really the tunes! See, Skivy hates, but the tunes brings the people together. Um, but, um, very happy to be back. I, I really miss this a lot more than I thought I would. Which sounds negative, but, um, I mean, I, I, I love streaming and all, but I was also looking forward to the break, uh, as one might expect. Um, but I really was, um, you know, in those times that I was just kind of sitting there looking for something to do. I was really missing the uh, the opportunity to stream, and I'm also very happy to see you guys back here. I mean, I will say one of my um, not really real fears, but um, I, I guess ideas that come to mind whenever I, you know, there's stands to take a break for for an extended period of time is I like, you know, there's always that little tiny voice in the back of your head saying it's like, well, maybe if you, you know, when you come back, it might take a while for people to. Uh, you know, get back in the norm, or even, uh, you know, start joining again, but, uh, seeing you guys here, definitely, you know, immediately, immediately, um, uh, rejuvenated the feeling again, and it, it, it's awesome. Who's this guy talking? I, I am a little bit under the weather, I will say. It's weird, I've had like a, like a, not a cold, per se. Nearly cheated on you? Who are you cheating on me with? If it's if it's someone from the community, go right ahead. I give you you got a hall pass from me. But uh, if not, I, you know we gotta see a counselor now. But where am I? Why am I here? Look, I, I am a little bit sick. I'll give you that much. Um, my my voice has kind of been in and out for a while. But uh, hopefully it'll be back soon. And great way to start. <laughs> It is gonna take some time to get back into the uh, into the swing of things here with the, uh, the time trials, but hopefully, hopefully not too too. Thought you quit? <laughs> nah, 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 dude, that barrel is the best barrel in the world. I mean, I quit for a week. Does that count? Okay, so, so, okay, I guess don't jump that way. These are costing me lives here, can you not? <laughs> Straight off the bat there, good old Crimson. That's how you know it's me. That right there is how you know that it is, uh, it is really me. But, um, it's fine, it's fine. We'll get, we'll get back into it, no problem. First try, first time guaranteed. I think we attempted this one before before I left too. Like on my last streaming day, and it was uh, a little bit difficult to say the least. But that's why we love this game. Yeah, okay. That's what he said. And slide through it. I mean, I realize that right there, that I shouldn't need to, uh, to rush through it. But it's just. I. I. Dude, watch it. I'm walking here. Um, I don't need to rush through it because the timer hasn't started, but it just sets the mood for the rest of the game. Out of here. Uh, so, what have you guys been up to? How's this week been? Hope everybody at least had uh, some exciting, uh, you know, shenanigans go down or something. Hey, uh, 
Teffy, thank you for the host. By the way, there's Kiwi. If you'd be so kind as to give yourself a good old uh, shameless plug there. Much appreciated. Totally forgot to shout you out there, buddy. Game over incoming. Nah, 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 nah. You will notice I actually took off the game over... The game over uh, counter. Mostly because doing time trials, it's where, where I, I doubt that I'm gonna be game overing at all. Mostly because you know the lives don't count when you uh, when you're doing time trials, so it's probably fine. Hold up, Zedbert. I'll read that in a sec, buddy. <clears throat> I need to find a better way to get to these things right here. Thank you for the shadows, sir. Get, 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 get. Nice. Okay. Move, nice. Okay, well there goes the mask. It's okay. No, the fire! Been camping the last two days set. Looking at computer screens waiting for you. Oh, buddy. We're back, don't worry. Where lives don't count and points don't matter, exactly. Start at go, go fudge me to drink. I'm assuming you meant go fund me. To drink your beer and play video games. That is, that is true. I actually read, um, as for those of you who may, who may not know, I, I retweeted his, uh, his go fund me page. As he puts it, it's more of a, uh, more of a joke than anything, but. I'm telling you, people are crazy enough, it would not surprise me if he actually got some funding. Not in the least. Fudge. Oh, we're gonna get. Oh, okay. We did not get poked. Dude, we're doing much better here. What do we got? We got the cheese now where if I just stay on the corner there, they don't actually hit me. Very useful to know. Oi. Dude, get out of the water. Come on. Oh, don't lose it immediately, though. Um, okay. As I lose it immediately. Good talk. Oh, we're there. We're there. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Alright, let's see what we start with. Okay, okay. Got the regular relic. Not a problem. There's, uh, there's worse timings that we could have gotten. My view was 90% are fake, so let's see how people react to an honest one for science. That is true, I mean, I I haven't done a lot of, like, you know, um, uh, slumming around the uh, GoFundMe pages and see what actually is out there, but I do know that there's a lot of silly ones out there that are uh, mostly just added for to try and grab some money from people. If you don't know, by the way, what these uh, GoFundMe pages are, uh, it's it's like a website where you can set a. Um, uh, I'm gonna switch over to. Uh, GoFundMe. Uh, it, it's a site that you can use to basically create your own um, like crowdfunding projects, and then people can go and fund you. Mostly, well, I mean, I'm assuming they made it with the intent of like you know people who are trying to raise uh, raise money for like a wedding or you know some sort of actual fundraising thing. 
uh, you know, you can actually go there and just outsource it to the public. But as you might expect, a lot of people just kind of use it for <laughs> just a lot of bullshit, basically. Um, and a lot of people are just kind of put that it's for something legit. And in reality, because there is no follow-up, I think, they basically just keep the money for themselves. Which, is it smart? Is it scummy? Probably both. But really, at the end of the day, I would say it's more of a reflection on the, uh, the people who are funding it rather than the people who are uh, posting it. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's very interesting. I mean, it's nothing new, obviously, you know, Kickstarter is a thing. Uh, however, you know, Kickstarter actually has... Uh, like, rulings and a code to abide by. Again, I don't know what the actual workings of this website is, but... I'm assuming there's probably a lot of, uh, a lot of leeway. Just be honest and say you want to drink beer or a prostitute, maybe. <laughs> True. Although, I mean, then again, I don't know how many people will be funny you at that end. But well, that's why yours is the, uh, the experiment, right? Dude, is it me or is Coco actually slightly faster? It's, it probably is just me. Oh, we actually got hit. Okay. You can order one where you are. I mean, probably. If you look at the right place on the internet, you can probably order one wherever you want. Okay. I didn't even check what uh, what time we're trying to beat. Probably should have done that. She does seem faster. A little bit, right? Maybe it's because she's slightly shorter. So she's taking more steps. So it's not actually... F or it looks like she's taking more steps. But she's not actually faster, she's just tinier. Mm, I was a little afraid of that one. I, I, I bet you we can I can squeeze by that one. Quite easily if I if I really try. Oh lordy. That internet comment etiquette got one thousand uh, pounds to drink wine and get a haircut. <laughs> well, I, I mean, sure, that is absurd, but also, like, I'm assuming you mean the uh, like the common etiquette channel that you uh, that you mentioned to me, uh, which fantastic, by the way. I, I've still to check. I, I, I've still to check out a couple of their videos, but from at least that one that you posted on Discord is it's hilarious. Um, that one. I imagine has a little bit more recognition just due to the fact that the dude is a, you know, YouTube celebrity. So it's probably mostly his followers that are just going along with it. But still, that's pretty impressive, I suppose. Oh! Oh, God! Okay. Some next look at his faster movement as it's speeds up to crash, yeah. On me, yeah, yeah. Damn it, dude, that actually cost it off. Wait, that's gonna go away. I was excited for a second there, and then I realized what game I'm playing. I don't care about you. I wonder. No, there's some time box in there. That would be kind of cool if they had a time box behind those boxes. And you have to like hit the uh, the dude into it. Mm. There's something there. There's something there that I can that I can cheese through. I know it. I just gotta find it. Same bounce. <laughs> oh, get there, get there, get there. Nice. So you can sneak past this gentleman here. 
Like, can I make it? No, I can't. There's no way. Okay, fine, fine, fine. No way. I should have probably checked what the um, the target time for the gold one is. It's totally. Uh... Ah, it's not past me. Oh! And. <laughs> Oh, Skinny. I miss you, buddy. The crudeness is quite the quite the signature. Get in there, get in there. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I uh that was the um Oh, what's his name? talk show well pseudo talk show host if you will more of a broadcaster I suppose but I, I definitely know what you're referring to there no just wait for it there we go now follow it Wait, please. Thank you. There we are. Okay. No. You heard a few of his T-shirts. Oh my god. I, I'm not. I'm not super surprised that you would. Oh come on. There's also, there's an achievement, uh, a trophy that we're missing. Oh, by the way, I should mention, I've, um, I've sort of cheated a little bit. Not really cheated, but, um, I, I got a trophy on my own, uh, off camera. Because, uh, it, the, the, all it was, was, uh, it was a trophy that we needed to get before we even started the game. So we, so we sort of missed it in our playthrough. Uh, but it was very... Not unimportant, but um, um, there's nothing special. So I, so I'm like, whatever. I'll just go in and get it on my own, and then we'll uh, talk about it. All it was was uh, just to miss, like start the first mission and quit it three times without grabbing the um, uh, the first crystal and make uh, make Cortex real mad at you or some shit. So I mean, it took all of like three minutes. So I'm like, eh, I feel like I'm not taking that much. Uh, Content out of the stream, so it's probably fine. But um, but yeah, so there's there's that. that you guys didn't get to see. You didn't miss much. Um, but there is a um, a Coco specific uh, trophy that I haven't gotten yet. Just like kill so many people with her like leg sweep or whatever. Well, I'm assuming it's just. Kill a bunch of enemies with as Coco, with the uh, the spin. So we'll we'll probably do that at some point. Maybe even during the uh, the speed trials. <laughs> hold up, hold up, oh, dude! I don't know about that. Off camera that didn't happen. Reset. I feel betrayed. Like this whole thing has been a lie. <laughs> No, no, no. I mean, we can we can do it if you want to. Honestly, even the um, if nothing else, I was worried that the uh, like Cortex commentary for making him real mad was gonna be the what I was gonna like what you guys were gonna miss out on. But honestly, it wasn't even that great. He was mostly just saying it's like, go get the crystals, Crash. The crystals. You're making me mad. You know, all big headed like. Oi, she got poked right in the boob. Point being, it, it was nothing special, don't worry. I can redo it at some point if you want to. But I just wanted to fi figure out to save ourselves a little bit of time. Oh, yes. Nice. 
Oh, we can do it. It can be done. Okay, good enough. Bad, bad. Too slow, Kimo Savvy. We make it. Dude, this is a run. This is it right here. Yeah, no, this is definitely the golden here. So we gotta, we gotta make sure we make it. It's fine. We got another one right here. That's fine. Oh, don't die here! Don't do not die here. Yes. Okay, that was like five or six seconds faster. What? That's not enough? You're making me mad, bro. I got a court success, bro. Hey, well, now you'll never know. So I skipped it. Uh, well, what the hell, man? It's like 14 seconds faster, and you tell me that's not the gold? It must have been like within a second, right? It must be very close. Try jumping after a slide for a greater distance. I don't know what you're trying to tell me with that. Feels good to be playing again, though. I'll tell you what, I, I was very, um, it, it was a, a big decision to make. Not that big a decision, but, you know. Um, I, I was trying to decide whether I wanted to uh, start off with Crash or go back to, uh, to Final Fantasy, because technically, um, on the regular schedule, Today would have been a Final Fantasy day. Uh, but because I'm actually streaming four days, I wanted to start it off like a, you know, the regular week where we usually start with Crash and then move on to Final Fantasy, yada yada yada. Um, but it was very, uh, it was a tough decision because I really wanted to uh, go back and play some Final Fantasy today. We could have made that. That's okay. We can make this one. Mm, no, we did not make it. Okay. So I gotta find out the uh, actual reliable way to make it through these. Uh, uh, like, hand parts. Quick enough. Mm, that's not it. Finally caught up with FFA. You got a few GFs to go get now. I'm gonna head over. I don't care for a bit. Alright, Skivy, no worries, buddy. We'll still be here for another hour and a half, so. If nothing else, we will see you in a bit. If not, have a good day, man. Versace, dude! How's it going? I'm so happy to see you back, man. We haven't seen you in such a long time. I know that you've been having some, uh. some computer problems there for a while. But I'm glad, to, uh, I'm glad to have you back already. How have you been? No. Okay, we're on the right track. We're on the right track. Yeah, there it is. Um, but uh, yeah, no, Senator, I know exactly that we have a few, uh, a few GFs still that we gotta go grab. Specifically, the one that I know that I that I'm missing out. On right now is the uh, no, that's the one. the Tomberry uh, GF, which I really want to go grab soon. We might dedicate one of one of the the streams this week to uh, to grab it. No, you can't spin those. God damn it. Okay, thank you. Lost one lato, but I was out of state for three weeks. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, it sucks out with your laptop. Man. I know I've been, uh, I've been with without laptop now for. Well, that's true, and it isn't. The laptop that I have is about. Whew, 
nine years old now. It's it's a relic. And uh, but it's it's it, for about three or four years now. It's been a uh, uh, more of a desktop than a laptop because I can't use it unless it's actually plugged in, which sucks. And I just, you know, I apparently could have bought a laptop, a new laptop by now, but I just never got around to it. But still, hopefully, uh, hopefully you can get yours replaced fairly quick. Oh, we made it. Nice. Uh, nope, that's not it. And now we died. Got the three final mains to go get. Now you have airship too. Yes, because uh, we have the... Uh, Alright, because we ended up... Right, now, now I remember. Um, I was trying to think the other day, um, like, where the hell did I actually leave off on the game? But, um, yes, we actually just got the Ragnarok ship. So, um, now we can go grab the Cactuar GF. Um, there was another one that somebody else mentioned as well, but I can't remember what it was called. Tomberry one, though, is the one that I'm anticipating being the most pain in the ass grab. Right now, I mean. Cactor might be up there as well, but, but Tomberry is the one that kind of scares me the most. If I'm being completely honest. Oh, go, 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 go. Nice. Okay, that was weird. That was weird. We made it through. To in secret area. Okay, okay. Oh, did, did you see that shit? The nitro jumped up and got me. An inanimate box. Well, I mean, it's very animated. As you can see, it's jumping on its own, but the fucking box killed me. That's just embarrassing. Oh, hold up, hold up. Catch up in chat. In a little bit here. Get in there, get in there. Nice. Hey, please. Nice, nice. Keeping the mask is very important. Alright, well, now we lost it. <laughs> well, you know what? As far as uh, places to lose the mask, that probably is one of the most qualified ones to do with that. Oh, that was a good time on that. Nice. If this doesn't do it, I do not know what will. We cut another seven seconds of that. And <laughs> the rage one. There we go. We got it. All right. Using a backup, same thing. Shot bad. Well, at least if nothing else, you have something to uh, to use in the meantime. <laughs> Dude, I totally forgot that the rage command was not a uh, a mod a mod only command. Glad you guys are uh, are able to use them. I need to. See, I, I really like, uh, I know it might be a bit of a cop out, but I really like uh, associating um, sound effects with the commands that we use on a regular basis. Uh, for instance, like the red command having the, uh, the little sound effect uh, aligned to it, the choco command as well. Um, so I might, uh, I might find something for the rage command to, uh, to play in the background. There must be something nice. Out there somewhere. Wait, I did also add the OI command, I thought. As per Cap's request. Yeah, it's in there. I don't know I don't know if I put that one on the list. But it's definitely out there. Alright, so this is a uh, bloody shouting what the fuck. <laughs> no, I don't know. We can come up with something more creative than that, I feel. Oh, you dick. Where's my weight take you, man? Oh, 
That's satisfying. Get out of here. These are the ones that are going to be a bit of a pain in the ass because these are the ones with the bees in them. <laughs> I did record myself like the, the oi command. It's literally just me going, oi! And it was, uh... It was kind of funny to record it. But it was also nice because I, I didn't have to look around for a you know, specific sound effect or anything. I just made my own. Dude, if I get some invincibility, this would be fantastic. I really thought I could jump on the box. Okay. <laughs> That's one way to get through those. Oh, but this one we gotta wait. There's probably a... Uh, there we go. I was gonna say, there's probably a timing during which we don't actually have to wait. No death pad, thank you very much. So, we can outrun the... F the... Oh, shit. Okay. Nice. I was gonna say, we can outrun the, uh... The bees. I learned that in one of the... Oh, shit. Okay. I learned that in one of the later, um levels. If you get to, like, the next area over, it's, uh... They actually just go away on their own, like that. Which is very nice. God damn it. There's quite a funny line in Anchorman when Ron rages a bit, if I remember right. I'm not... I haven't seen the Anchorman movies. Begin shaming now, but, um... I mean, if you're already gonna shame me, I might as well, you know, come out straight with it. I, I'm not, a, I'm not a huge fan of Will Ferrell. I don't know what it is about the man. It's just, I don't know. He bothers me. <laughs> he just bothers me. Um, not in everything, albeit. Um, there are some things he's done where I'm just like, yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, but for the most part, I'm just like. Eh. Just don't find it funny. Get out of here. Oh, you bitch. Uh, that being said, though, I wouldn't blacklist the uh, the sound effect if it's you know, if it's a good one and and I'm into it and it fits. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say no to it just because I have my own stigmas. Ah, come on. Right. I wonder if the trick there is to just slide through it. And that way you don't go underneath. Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh, my finger sliding off the off the joystick. That's never good. That's never good. Get out of here, sir. Thank you. Nice. Wow, platinum! That is surprising. I think that's like the third platinum relic we've gotten on this game. We haven't gotten very many, because this game is certainly a lot tougher to uh, speedrun than the last. But, um, it's always very... It's, it's a nice surprise whenever they come around. I wonder... I wonder why. Because I wasn't really being any faster than I would have been otherwise. I wonder if maybe they're just expecting people to actually go underground and just kind of waste some time that way. With the, um... <laughs> Dude, that's an adorable dance. <laughs> that's fantastic. Um, 
Man, I wonder if they were just expecting people to waste a little bit more time being cautious around the the bees. This is good. This is good. There's always the um wait, fluff. Like two what one of two things usually happens when I stop playing a game. Even if it's either for a week or, you know, a year even. Um, either, when I, the first time I play it, I'm gonna do better than, I, than I've ever done before. Or, and well, never gonna be able to do that again, so let's make sure that we win this one on the first try. Can really make this all the way? Yeah, nice. Okay. Uh, but anyways, either I'm just gonna be completely terrible. Just forget 100% what the, what the game is all about. How to play it. Or I'm gonna do better than what I did before because I have very low expectations. I certainly welcome either one. Okay, never mind. Apparently that is quite easy. Do the penguin! Oh the penguin. Always the penguin. The one game that always surprises me that way is actually uh, Rock Band. That's the game that I I always tend to do the uh, a little bit better when I when I return after a while. I don't know why. Ah, the penguins took my life. Okay, well I'm missing on that. There we go. Teffy, can you like tell these penguins to not be dicks? Appreciate it. A little bit of moral support from the uh, the old penguin family. Well, now now we're at the point where like those boxes might start to take more time than they're than they're worth. No. Okay, well, whatever. I'm skipping that. Oh, wait! We need the activation block. That's right. Shit. Okay, that's not work. <laughs> Dude, there's so much to this level. A lot more than I'm, than I'm remembering. And it's gonna be the death of me. Maybe I should be jumping on the middle and then sliding off. That might be a better option. Just watch out for the shadow. That's all you need. Yeah, I think that's that, that's a safer way to do it, and we're still saving ourselves a little bit of time. Sure. I guess. Ah, I ran too much. Too far. This there's probably some um like invincibility to be had in this level at some point. So I really want to preserve the masks as much uh, as long as possible in case that does happen. Because that is uh, well, there goes that. Uh, but the invincibility is really uh, a huge, huge play in these uh, in these time trials. Which pretty much comes goes without saying. I will say though, the one 
the, the best thing about being back, and this is gonna sound very, you know, millennially, if you will, but the one thing about being back is having reliable Wi Fi. Whatever, it's fine. Um, I run out of data literally. I, I We got there, I opened my phone, and then it told me, uh, you know, you're out of data, you're on, uh, and I had to be like, like paying for it from that moment on. So I was like, yeah, whatever, I know the resort has some, has some Wi-Fi in it. It's not that big of a deal. And also, at the end of the day, you know, that's not quite what I'm there for anyways. But it was more so for, like, you know, the, those moments of boredom. I can at least connect with the outside world and see what's going on. But, um... Well, the inside world, if you will? I don't know. The point is, my phone, at the end of the day, couldn't even find and connect to the to, to resort's Wi-Fi for whatever reason. It was just very annoying in general. Dude, I can never just walk um, So yeah, so I had like no Wi-Fi the entire time. And it was it was quite a struggle. Which is why I couldn't even pop into like the, the Caps uh, streams or anything yeah. the entire time that I was there. But, like I said, it was fine in the end. Penguins, yes. Please tell them to not be dicks. There's still like half of this level left that we haven't seen. And I'm still just getting stuck here. Okay, well. There we are. Noot, noot. Right, that's the other sound effect that I gotta that I gotta look out for. Just for you, babe. Oh, dude. That is not the enemy you want to take that. That also took a lot longer than it should have. See, there's that, uh... It's interesting because it seems like the um, the pillars are actually in on the same timing as everything else here. Um, and I mean, you might say, well, yeah, obviously, because you know, that's sort of how the level works. But um, oh, hey, the table flip! I totally forgot about that command or that yeah, that command. Um, Thirteen seconds. What the hell? Oh, you know what? It's because I didn't hit the uh, the three second box in the end. I get it. Okay. No activation. Activated though. No penguin. No. Very surprised none of those are. Oh, yeah, there you go. Some time boxes. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Hmm. There, there are some ideas running through my head right now. Um. I run by. Why? By. I, I will run one by you. If I uh, can learn how to speak English again. Um, the death platform is actually fairly short. And um, so I'm thinking maybe that's the way to go. Oh, okay, sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it if you uh, let's let's do some experimenting here. Because the, the death path, again, it's it's very short, and I'm actually a lot more familiar with it. Ah, just kill me. This is bad. I'm a lot more familiar with the death pla uh, path than I am with this, like the rest of the level. J mostly just due to the fact that we had to do it a lot. 
It is quite tough, so it's, it's not like it's gonna be the easier way out. It might just be the quicker way out. That might be the difference between um, between gold and platinum, even. Because they're not expecting people. I mean, mind you, I don't think... Actually, there may be some boxes in there, so we might still get, be able to get some uh, some time boxes. But I'm not too sure. I'll try it, but okay, okay, yeah, that wasn't the right thing to do, but whatever. The other thing is that I know for a fact that we can get a uh, invincibility in the death platform and then it makes things... We, we can just race through it in no time. Um, I, I need to keep this, this mask alive though. And that is proven to be a bit of a difficult challenge. Because you only get... I think yeah, you might be able to get two masks in there. So maybe by just going with one, it might, it, that might be enough. We'll find out, because we do get one more uh, before we go into the pad itself. Okay, well, whatever. There we are. Let's see, we'll get this mask right here. And then after the jump here, we're gonna... This pad, yeah, it should be right there. So let's do it, let's do it, let's find out. But actually, get on it. <laughs> and I'm assuming this doesn't affect the timer. Okay, yeah, no, it doesn't. Yeah, just look at all this. Like, this is where all the good stuff comes from. Okay, no, so you do need two of them, because this is the, uh, the one where you get the invisibility from. However, we might still be able to just kind of power through this. That was not when I wanted to use that. Yeah, okay. Cause see, if we can get it to, if we can get to there with at least one mask, we should be able to pl plow through the rest. But you can see where I'm coming from, though, right? Cause like, that is all ice. The one good thing, which is also the one shitty thing about ice, is that you can get a lot of speed on it. Hey, Desta, good to see you as well, man. How's it going, dude? Welcome. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. I really hate when that doesn't line up. Okay, well, yeah, you might as well just kill me then. Waste of time? Probably. Might still be worth it in the end. Going alright, that is good to hear. How, have, uh, how's your week, week been? I'm telling you, man. I just I came back with the with, without the ability of speaking. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> That's an actual life that we're just uh, throwing away there. Asking about people's weight, rude. No, I said weak. Didn't I? Did I not actually say weak? I did mean weak. Don't step on me, that's rude. Asshole game. Right. Hurt my back. So I'm recording from that. Oh, dude, that sucks. Was it at least fun? Are we doing some, uh... Oh my god, okay, that was weird. Alright, uh, get in there. Are we at least doing some fun shenanigans that, uh, cost you to, uh... Hurt you back? Was it worth it? Oh 
like No, that's not. You said wait and correct it to week. Okay, cool. Hey dude, it's fake crash in the background. That's cool. Right, here's where they use the mask. Yeah, there we go, there we go. And this should bring us to the end ish. There weren't any time boxes in there, so maybe that might be more of a Terran than anything. Dude! Grab the box. And then we fall to our deaths. What have we got? I was helping her move. Oh, okay, so you were, you were helping someone to move. Well, I mean, at least it was, uh, you know, you're doing a good deed. I get it though, like, especially moving is one of those things where, like, you can really... There, there's always somebody that ends up getting hurt one way or another. Um, I'll tell you, when we moved, um... I, I, I fucked up my neck last time we moved, for whatever reason. Always fun. Yeah, I mean, if nothing else... Um, you know, you get to spend some, some fun time with friends. But, um, that is not what I expected to happen there. Um, but yeah, last time we moved, I fucked up my neck. The time before that, uh, Elneas actually stepped on a, uh, on a nail. It wasn't a nail, it was more of a, of, of like, a tack. Uh, from one of my, from my TV stand. Uh, it's like, they put it at the bottom of the, of the legs. So that it doesn't scratch the, uh, the floor when you move in and things like that. But it has like a like a thing about yay yay high, and uh, like he like really just like stepped right onto that. So he was like basically out of the uh, out of commission for a couple of days. What have we got? But uh, you know it always happens. It always happens. Somebody's always gotta get hurt. Luckily, it is one of those things that. You know, you don't actually need to do very often. <laughs> or you'd hope not to have to do very often, anyways. Says the guy who, you know, moved three times in the past year. That was not fun, I'll tell you that much. Alright, 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 come on. One, two, three, four. So I really think that the death pad is the is the way to go. By the way, I'm I'm pretty convinced now. I really wish that we wouldn't lose our uh, our mask right there. But, uh, Dad, I don't I don't know about that one. Wars was he opening a U haul and getting metal bed frame to hit split. Wow, dude, that sucks. That's rough. I will say, if nothing else, that was one of the things that we didn't have to worry about is uh, renting a, uh, a moving van or truck. Mostly just because uh, we, we just borrowed a couple of the vans from work that we use for the equipment. And uh, like they're, they're basically as big, if not if not bigger, than like U-Haul trucks. So it made it very, uh, very easy to, uh, to fill up. Quite nice. Second level, don't miss it now, because if we can get this on the death path. Oh, it's gonna be huge! There we are, there we are, there we are. Uh, I'll read that in a second or this. This is this. This is the good shit right here. Nice, there we go, now we have it. Now we just run through this. Or slide through it, really. 
The cheese is real. Oh, we got another one even. Dude, this is definitely... What? Oh my lord, okay. Hold up. <laughs> well, that's 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 the way to do it, right? That's gotta be it. Uh, I was about to... About the only person who at the time could help her that were getting evicted because of their worthless piece of shit drug addicted neighbor playing the recovering drug addict sympathy card. You know, that's, that's never a good... Good, um, good situation. First call. I don't say no to helping. Um, yeah, no, that that's shitty, dude. I, I've had, um, I've had like not necessarily drug dealing, but like drug using uh, roommates before who, you know, are like were like doing you know cocaine on the on the on the table and had like dealers come to the door to basically want to buy this shit. I'm not, I'm not doing this if I can't get the invisibility. But, um, so yeah, so I know, I know how much of a pain in the ass that will be. So I'm sorry to hear, but at least hopefully things will kind of work out now instead. I get what you mean though, there, Versace. I, I, oh, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna lose it right there. Hope, hope that we get a uh, good time over here. Um, I am usually one of the at least for for my closer-ish group of friends. They always they they always know that they can pretty much just ask me to to move, and I'm and I'm more than happy to do it. Mostly, and you know, not to to my horn or anything. You know humble brag bullshit here but mostly because i i tend to be the uh, out, out of my close group of friends i'm, I'm the quote-unquote muscle of the group so so re clearly like i'm always the first one to ask um but beyond that again it's always just like i i always just enjoy helping everybody out like it's every, everybody helps me out when i need it so i mean you know i can care a few uh a few things into a van and out during the day and be fine. Someone I may have been friends with for 18 years. Exactly! You can do it! Thanks. I'm... <sighs> Whatever. That one second might not make a difference. There we are. I consider you as gaming family. Oh, thank you, dude! I consider, like, you as well, especially... Everybody who's uh, in, in both like my community and like Cap's community, because um, by now it's been it's been over a year now that we've been in this amazing community, and um, there's been especially the ones that you know the ones that have been here for the longest. Uh, not to single out anybody who's just joined, you know, in the in the past couple of months or anything like that, but, um, but yeah, there's been a lot of people that I'm just like considering as close friends now. Even. Uh, it's it's great. Oh, okay, well, I didn't mean to do that. Hopefully not that big deal. Hopefully they're helping to pack. That is true! I am... Uh, I, I do pack... Okay. I do pack a little bit too excessively at times. Uh, I like to be very organized with my packing. Um, like, I'm the kind of person who, like, labels everything. Um, like, well, I mean, I'll tell you what, maybe the easier way to explain it is to let you know my, uh, my packing pattern. Uh, this is a terrible run. Um, I pack, like, one room at a time. Basically, and I know that you may be saying, it's like, well, no shit, everybody does that. Um, but, like, if possible, and I don't know that many things, so it's not even that complicated for me to do. But, if possible, I, I pretty much just try to pack, like, one room into one box. And then move on to the next. Um, I'm also terrible OCD packing, pretty much. And like Tevi can attest to that. Uh, but I pretty much also um, I I'm very bad at uh, not emptying out drawers and shit like that. Because in my mind, I'm just like, look, if I can carry it, I'm not gonna bother. Um, 
making more work for me. Uh, when it comes to moving it, I'd rather just, you know, suck it up and carry the, uh, a heavier dresser, but having to carry less things overall. Oh, the timer! Yes. But, um, you know, like for dressers, I never empty them out. In fact, I, I go so far as to, like, put things in the dressers and just fill them out as much as I can, especially with, like, all the little miscellaneous stuff. And then, uh, and just go from there. Makes things a lot easier. And go quicker. So this should pretty much do it all the way to the end. As so long as we don't screw things up right here. Okay, hold up. Let me just concentrate on the task at hand here. I really want this to be the, uh, Attempt. If possible. Oh no! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Let's get up there! Oh, okay. Okay, okay! Please, please. Please, please, please. please. Gold. 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 Gold! Nice! Okay. Woo! I really did not want to have to do that again. <sighs> I'm currently playing the game because I need to beat it before the next game comes out. What uh, what game are you doing? Supremely helpful in the end. It is. It is. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, my god, my leg was kicking at the end there. Oh, dude, you have no idea. Like, I wanted to... Like, immediately as I beat it, I just picked up the spinner because I was just like, oh, okay, I got to release some... Uh, some, some stress but um, eh, going back to the packing thing yes yes I, I, everybody pretty much pi like gets pissed off at me for pack for like over packing dressers and shit like that but then at the end of the day I have like one van or one truck worth of stuff when everybody has like you know two or three of them and that's fine by me I'm also the type to like unpack as I move in like, I don't like to sit around... Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. I didn't do that. Oh, there's a Nitros there! Well, how kind of you, game. Um, I do... I absolutely hate it when there is, like, boxes sitting around... ...unpacked. Dude, if I can do that really, like... ...really obviously, but, um... Uh, that's the one I'm trying to think. I don't know. If I can do that over and over, life is gonna be good for us. Um, but yeah, no, I absolutely hate having boxes sitting around. I, I need to, as soon as I'm done moving things in, everything is getting unpacked. With, with a few exceptions, of course. Obviously, I'm not gonna, you know, I don't just unpack everything and then throw away the boxes. Like, if, uh, oh, nice. Things that need to go in storage, obviously, you know, stay packed. But at this point, I'm just like I'm talking out of my ass here. There we are. Oh, those are all nitros. Don't touch that again. There's absolutely zero reason to. Dude, fake crash was over there. We don't have... Yeah, there we go. There's a mask. There's a mask right here, and that's fine by me. I wonder if they gave you that with the intention of you using it right there. No! I thought I jumped on his head. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, the next game, Hacker's Memory, comes out March 2018. Dude, that's cool. I had no idea that we're still making... Oh, hi, cat. Welcome. I guess it's cat appearance time now. But don't stand on the screen! Okay. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. Okay. Well, this is awkward. What, what are you here? Are we done? Is that it? Is that all the cat is doing? Don't rub on the microphone, you're gonna- you're gonna make noises. Okay. 
Yes, yes, you're cute. There you go. Get out of here. Oh, shit. That cat almost did not fall on her feet. But she's fine. Um, I had no idea there's so many Digimon games. That's awesome. Last Digimon game I played was back in, like, the PS1. Okay, that's just some interesting jumping mechanics there, game. One on hitting that. Bullshit. Okay, giving you love and fat cat. It is a very fat cat. Actually, she's, she's lost weight, though, since the last time that you saw her. She's no longer... Well, I mean, she is now the fat cat because... Uh, cause Puma, when he was lost on his 45 days hiatus, uh, lost a lot of weight, obviously. It was very scrawny. Dude, can I just slide make that jump? Hold on. Not like that, I can't. Okay, we totally can. So, problem solved. Okay. Digimon looked awesome. Dude, Digimon was, like, amazing. I almost preferred it to, uh, to, to Pokemon when I was a kid. Um, I watched, I didn't watch, like, all of them. Like, all the, they're not even really seasons. I watched up to, like, Digimon 3, I think it was. Alright, cool. Um, it just, I don't know, I, I felt like it was less cheesy than... Than Pokemon was. This coming from, you know, like a nine-year-old at the time, so it didn't really mean much. I wasn't much of a, of a TV critic. Um, but, um, the game that I had, there was, th there were two games that I used to play a lot when I was a kid, uh, for Digimon. BRB, no worries. Uh, Pokemon was too repetitive. Well, I mean, so is every kid's show to some extent, right? I mean, Look back to... No, you don't even have to look back, I'm, I'm assuming they still do it, but like, every Power Rangers show ever, it's always what, they find a mon- like a monster is created, it's terrorizing the village, they find a monster, they fight it, then it grows in size, they fight it again, and then they beat it and, you know, problem solved. So, I mean, as far as repetitiveness go, repetitiveness, goes. Uh, a lot of kids shows basically do it, and that's because, you know, kids are dumb, and they, it doesn't take a lot to entertain them. Um, myself included. Of course. Um, but, um, I don't know, like, I did watch all of, like, the original Pokemon uh, like, series, but once, um, like, past the first couple of movies came out, I was pretty much done with it. Dude, why the fire every time? I really hate, like, I, I, I guess I'm gonna have to wait, but I, I hate doing that. Like, one of my pet peeves, and you guys should, uh, like, probably know this by now, is uh, maps that make me have to wait for the map to, like, get its shit together so I can continue my run. It's so very annoying. I guess if it must be done, then it shall be done. Oh, yeah, we're not gonna make that. I like story and mixing the worlds in Digimon. Yeah, and, and that was pretty much what captivated me, too. Like, the premise of it was a lot more... Uh, involved than, like, Pokemon. At least I thought so. Like, Pokemon, you have... Again, not, not cheating genuinely on it. I, I am a, a, you know, a fan, to some extent. Uh, but, um, in Pokemon, you had, like, the kid who's just going out to, like, you know, capture all these Pokemon for basically no reason. Just to, um, to, like, show off, I suppose. Uh, whereas in Digimon, you actually had, like, a real reason, right? Because, like... Cause it was it was more like you know save save the, the save save the world kind of thing. I don't know. It just it, it sounds cheesy, and I suppose you know it, it is a kids show, so there's it's meant to be cheesy. 
The point is, I like Digimon. Oh, that is gutsy. Okay, I can do that. Fantastic. Fires, thank you. Oh, we still used it, okay. I was kind of, I was going to see if I could save it for this guy right here. Yeah, okay. I think the other thing that I that I also liked about Digimon is that throughout the um, the different like series of it, I think I still remember all the words of the original opening songs. Uh, I, I I wouldn't because I watched it in Spanish, and it's been so long that I still don't even remember that. But. Um, but I think pretty much everybody who watched either Digimon or Pokemon, like, remembers those verbatim. Um, repetition, man. There we are. Uh, but no, the other thing that I liked is that they were actually very... Th there was some advancement to uh, Digimon in between series. It's not like, you know, you watch Pokemon now and Ash is still 10 years old. <laughs> Uh, in Digimon, they actually, you know, you actually saw the kids age throughout, like the characters age. I totally forgot, I gotta wait. And, uh, it gave you a little bit more resolution. Which was nice. The back and forth with Digimon Evolution added the appeal and had more personality. Pokemon was a little bland. I mean, sure, they all, ha they, all they both had basically the, um... The same idea of like the the monsters kind of evolving, but um, and that that was the other thing it, it, be, between like series. They even changed the way that 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 it happened, right? So you had a little bit of freshness, even though it was still the same the same universe, which was also nice. Oh, that was bad. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Back to the trash in the road. No worries, Zesta. Welcome back, buddy. Just having a, uh, a nice, friendly Digimon versus Pokemon uh, talk. Which you think would actually bring a lot more controversy. <laughs> Uh, and probably if we had a, if we had a few uh, a few Pokemon diehards in chat, probably would end up bring bringing more controversy. But again, I'm not saying that one is necessarily better than the other. I like them both. I watch them both. Mind you, I will say I was probably more of a fan of DBZ than either of them. Still, I am. But uh, it's more of a, a, a friendly comparison. Dude, that, those jumps right there really scare me. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I agree it was a bit better of the two programs with the games. I found Pokemon better back then on now. Oh, absolutely! Um, the Pokemon games definitely took off a lot more because they, they are a little bit... Um, I don't want to say mainstream, but that's not really what I mean. But they're a little more, like, customer-friendly? If you will, Digimon, the, the Digimon games didn't really do as good of a job as, as making it a, um, you know, more, more, give it that feel of, uh, of like RPG that Pokemon has. I think it was also the fact that on Pokemon games, like you have that that task of like. Be beyond just just the the main like campaign and, and objectives, you have the task of collecting you know absolutely every Pokemon you have. So I mean even if the uh, if you're like finished up with the story and whatnot, you can still walk around and get the uh, at least from what I remember. And mind you, the last Pokemon game I played was Pokemon Blue. Um, 
But um, where I'm going with that is that on, on Digimon, it was basically just one story and that was it. Once you were done, you were done. Okay, this is weird. This is weird. This is weird. This is very weird. Okay, we made it. <laughs> Very weird. Ah. Hate it. Variety wise and character progression goes to Digimon. In my opinion, Pokemon has great story wise and the games were easier to pick up. That that is true, like I said, the, the games of Pokemon were just a lot more it made a lot more sense. Uh, even if you were not part of the uh <laughs> That's great. Even if you were not part of the um, uh, like the community prior to, you could still just pick up a Pokemon game and be like, yep, yeah, sure, let's go. I love Gen 1 through 4, basically giant RPG. Um, I, I again, the only Pokemon game that I played ever was uh, was Pokemon Blue. And honestly, as as much as I I have thought, you know, seeing the new games and things like that and all the hype, I have thought about uh, playing it because I do have a 3DS. So, I mean, I can still play through the uh, all the new games that are coming out, but they kind of lost me at the lack of creativity, or perhaps even, maybe not lack of creativity, but just, they're grasping at straws at this point with the, uh, the names and types of Pokemon that they're adding. It's a little bit silly, to the, to the extent that it's a little bit off-putting, at least personally speaking, anyways. The core was was a world, or saved the world, but it went back and forth with which world, with each season. For uh, for Digimon, you mean? Right, because because you had someone where you're like, you were just literally they were spending the whole time in the Digi world, and then somewhere it was just like, oh, it all spilled into the real world. We're all gonna die. People are freaking out. They don't know what these Digimon things are. I saw fake crash. Oh, kid, go. Oh, whatever. Okay. I really hate this part. Straight up. Fan. There we are. There is no need for that. There is absolutely no need for that. I can just jump on the platforms. It's okay. I I, I feel I feel close. I feel like we're getting close to finishing this, and I and I'm kind of hoping there there are ways. As I'm doing this, there are, are ways that I'm thinking. It's like yeah, I can save time there. I can save time there. But I'm. <laughs> I also tend to be, at, more often than not, tend to be doing better than I think I am. Again, not to be a humble brag or anything, but uh, it surprises me sometimes uh, when I get to the end and I think that I'm that you know that was a a very average run or even a bad run, where like things could have gone better, and then as it turns out, you know we end up getting the gold right away or something. Okay. Like for instance, in these, I could definitely just be saving some time by going a little bit faster there, but. Bloody things right here. <sighs> yep. I think this one was save DGS2, was save. was the real world, was both this. Yeah, yeah, no, that sounds about right. This game for Digimon I am playing has 500 Digimon you can get, so it's up there with Pokemon with a bit more in depth. You need certain stats to get certain Digimon. Fair enough. So, selling what platform is it on? Oh. 
came out last year. That's cool. I, dude, again, I was. It is news to me that they're still making brand new Digimon games. The one that I remember playing. Actually, there were a couple of them, and you know what? Coming in 2014. Oh, so it's a sequel. I mean, I have to, I have to play them both. I mean, dude. I might, I might add it to the list of games to uh, to stream in the future because that would be very, uh, very cool. Also, very different, a little bit out of the norm. Um, but the one Digimon game that I used to play the most uh, with a friend of mine was Digimon Rumble. Let me check it out. I, w I will too. Uh, but yeah, Digimon Rumble, I think it was called. And it was literally just... Well, it was more than just a Digimon fighting game. Uh, or battling game. It wasn't even really like a, you know, like a Mortal Kombat style fighting game. It was a little bit in between, like, like Pokemon fighting game and one-on-one -on -one fighting game, I think it was. Dude, it shouldn't be anymore. Like, I hate the lingering box there. Looks really fun from watching it. Awesome. No, I'll definitely have to check it out. I am looking for ideas, by the way, for games to play after we're done with, like, Final Fantasy and Crash. Because, again, it seems like uh, we're probably going to be done... Oh, that was weird. We're probably going to be done, like, Final Fantasy VIII before we're done Crash. I mean, I know that we only have Crash 3 left to do. Uh, but I have a feeling that we're coming very close to the... Uh, to the end of Final Fantasy VIII. I'm also going under uh, with, with the premise that um, as with Final Fantasy VII, the last disc is basically just like the, the final preparation or the final... the end of the game, basically. No! Ah, God damn it. Example for me to get Lilithmon, I need my Lilamon to level 60 or higher. Max is 200, Int is 250, Speed is 130, ABI is 80. So you basically have to like trend them for them to reach the next evolution. I mean, it sounds... You no, know, it's, it's pretty standard, I would say. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but yeah, no, I gotta, I gotta think up with something else. I mean, I, I have a couple left. I have a couple in mind, mind you. Again... As you guys know, I do want to try and change the, the genres of the games that we're playing. We don't have to, but... I feel like, um... Like, I, I kind of want to. I, I like tr switching up the genres. If not, for uh, to keep things fresh for you guys. Also, to keep kind of things a little bit more fresh for me. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to lose too much interest. Uh, by playing the same type of game over and over. Which happened a little bit for me when we were playing the Portal games. Even though I was I, I was a huge fan of the games. Nothing wrong with the game at all. Um, fuck. But by the time I was done on like Portal 2, I was pretty much done with the, with the Portal games. And you know, if I lose interest, then what little entertainment I bring to you guys is probably gonna fade away, so... as fresh as possible. Although definitely, I mean, obviously it'll be voted on by you guys, but I, uh, one of the next, one of, one of the next, uh, RPG games that we're gonna play is gonna be, uh, gonna be Legend of Dragoon. I'm pretty excited about that game, because <laughs> that's the one game that I've been lingering on for such a long time. I've played the beginning of it like three or four times. And yet, not enough for me to remember actually the game that much. Um, but. Um, but I am excited to play it. Oh, come on, it's so hard to tell. Some of the stuff requires you to beat the game before you can unlock the Digivolutions. See, at that point. Like, the problem with games like that, at least in my... on the streaming perspective... Because uh, I would definitely want to stream the game, too. I hate getting stuck in this loop. 
uh, I would definitely want to stream the game if I do play it, uh, is that um, beyond the story stuff, I don't know that I want that I would want to invest too much time on the completion side of things. On those types of games, like this game, I, it doesn't really count. <laughs> Uh, because there is not really much of a story in this game. Oi, almost fell. But, um... That being said, I'll, I'll probably, in, in that instance, probably still play through like the story side on stream, and then whatever completion, if I do want to keep going with it, I might just keep going it on my own. Sony technically unlocks after the game because of the free DLC and an extra dungeon. See, now things like that I'm totally fine with. Because, like, that is actually additional content, right? What, um, what I mostly mean about um, things that I wouldn't want to necessarily grind out on uh, after stream is, for instance, um, Bloodborne, for example. I wouldn't want to. Uh, you know, just uh, after we beat all the bosses, I wouldn't want to like go back and try to grind out for for absolute max level. Cause that would just be absolute boredom for you and me to some extent. Masks don't mean anything if I can't make these bloody jumps here. Yep, like that. Ah, uh, dude. <laughs> I'm feeling the burn on this level right here. We still got about 20 minutes though, so I, I, I'm confident that I can beat it in that time. level in this game is so easy. That's cool. So I'm assuming, like, is that one of the main... Is that one of the main, like, objectives that you have? It's just basically trying to max out everybody? Or is it more of a tool to get something a little bit more valuable throughout? No! I hate when I press the buttons backwards! God damn it. Holiday worn off already. Yeah, no, it sure did. I'm back home. <laughs> I am back home. Uh, let me tell you, dude. Uh, the holiday pretty much worn off this morning when it work. It's, it's been busy today already. Basically, you're level locked till you digivolve and break their level limits, so they encourage you to fool around with the digivolving. Okay, that's cool. <sighs> ah, game, well, you gotta be a dick and put a fire right there, huh? You're full. You're not. You're not. You need, to be, you need to feel superior? Is that what it is? Uh, the death trap. There we are. I'm, I'm actually, honestly, very surprised that we haven't died to that Nitro more than, like, two times. Not that I'm inviting it uh, onto myself. Because, you know, I basically just put the bad karma on me now. But it's just an observation. No, 
that's not good. Is there another way around? See, now that we've done that, like, death path shenanigans on the last level, now I'm trying to think, like, can we cheese any other level in the same way? Oh, shit. The, the answer to that is I don't think so. I don't think so. Fire is your weakness. A little bit. <clears throat> I mean, there's that wi that um, emerald path halfway through, but I can't remember exactly where that takes me. Okay, sure. You know what? Let's experiment. Where are you gonna take me? Oh, right, the Donkey Kong path. No, never mind. Oh, I I, <laughs> I actually did not expect to be able to do that. Mostly because we've already wasted so much time anyways that even if we finish this run, we're not going to get a very good uh, standing on it. That's cool, I guess. You have to be smart about which Digimon you use, because as they Digivolve, their team cost goes up and you start with 20, but they're in the game. The items to race it. That's, that's very interesting, for sure. Crimson Moth is <laughs> key game into the flame. Yeah, I know. It's only on this damn game. So we bought a switch while uh, while we were on the trip, which was probably the most random thing that happened on the trip. If I'm if I'm being honest was, uh, and by we, actually, I mean, like, Elmeas bought a Switch. Uh, Nintendo Switch, that is. And, uh, it's pretty cool. I, I tried it. We played some games. Uh, definitely not, you know, what you go to the lake for, but, eh, we're nerds. We, we accept that. Um, it's, I hate the jumping metro. It's very, it's a very interesting console. I do like the, um, the UI. better than the Wii U. I'm probably, I mean, I was already planning on buying one at some point, just by virtue of the fact that I bought every console that's come out in the past, like, however many years. Or maybe I should say every, like, generation of console. Because I'm, I'm not buying, like, every PS4 that's coming out, it's just, I have a PS4. But anyways, um... The one thing that I noticed, though, and, and it, it just it reminded me because it sort of happened on this uh, on this game a couple times. Um, the joysticks of it are very um, very sensitive, and so I found that it was just like wandering off a few times. Very minor complaint, obviously, but if, if you can even call it a complaint. For the most part, I was very happy with the, uh, with the, the console. And if nothing else, it just makes me wanna, wanna go out and buy it sooner. Get on that. There we go. Thank you. Wait for it. Get on that. Thank you. And we can make it, okay. Oh my god. Oh, don't, don't, don't fall. Oh, there's Donkey Kong at the end of this. Okay, well, good to know. Progress. Where's Jasper when we, when we need him? <laughs> oh man. Just remember, incremental progress is still progress. That's what I keep telling myself so I can sleep peacefully at night. No! 
That right there, kids. This is why Uncle Inlayas is wrong, and you shouldn't always uh, slide jump. Unless he wants you to believe. The thing is, it doesn't come as a surprise for me to be stuck in this damn level. Because even going through the uh, through the game normally, these were one of the most the more difficult levels, at least for me. I don't know why. I do appreciate seeing fake crash over there every time. Okay, we cannot do that. is up above the, uh, uh the, the one activation block there, or not activation block, but a uh, bounce block there. So you're definitely jumping up to grab something. It might just be a normal box. I wonder if it's like a time box of some sort. No! God damn it. I don't want to waste time waiting for those. Tell him, man, the salt is real. Right off the hop here. I mean, we're. To be fair, we've already done, what, like two levels in uh, today's stream? Two, maybe three? So it's not like I haven't accomplished anything today. But that's... that's not the point. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Stay on the block. Okay, here we go. Donkey Kong. Get out of here. Oh, there's only one. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Get up there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit, dude. Platinum. That's fantastic. See, and that's exactly what, I, what I'm talking about. We, uh... Here I am thinking that, you know, we, we, we've basically just done, or been, been quick enough to do, like, gold, even. And then we'll get hit with that plat. Nice. Thank you. See, it's the, it's the Coco Strats. It's what it is. Nice, so we actually only have one more level in this area to, uh, to speedrun, so let's go ahead and do it. Behaving. A special gem lies beyond a clever deception. This one's gonna be tough. I might not be able to get to, you know, make it in the, in the next ten minutes, but... Dep depending on how tough it is, I may be willing to go a little bit beyond to get it done. Okay, so the strats is definitely to just slide through the boxes there. Dude, these beasts cannot even keep up. I love it. No, get out of here. Sure, whatever. Mm, 
Okay, so that one's a little tricky. Yeah, that's the one. That keep on going. Keep on rocking me, baby. I mean, whatever, if that's gonna save me. Oh, but the f okay, 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 okay. How do you do that? How do you do that? Just think it through. Oh, right, don't waste the time. How do we do that? I mean, I can jump. Okay, it's like a three second box, like, it's pretty significant. For me to just skip it. Two second marks, okay. Okay! Okay! Well, that's that's one way to do it. No, that's not how you do that one, though. Okay, I'm sure. Don't get out of there. Wait for me. Okay. Oh. No, that's not it. See. If I can keep the mask up until then, then I can probably just give in to the TNT. Oh, the, uh, the nitros, rather. No, because if we if we can give into the, the nitrous there, then we can take out some of the some of the bees. Right. Wait, who's got a pillbox there? I will say, um, this game already is a lot better for the for the whole pillbox shenanigans. Um, if you know if you don't know what I mean um, it was the whole you know hitboxes being a different shape pill shape in the uh, in the in the in the first game ergo causing you to like slide off of the the edges when you shouldn't uh, but this game certainly has Certainly has a, different, a better feeling already in regards to that, which is very nice. <laughs> Should probably jump right there too. Should probably make it across. Burm, burm. Okay. Two times is really all it takes to, to get that down. Nice, nice. Keep it going, keep it going. Oh, get faked. Dude, I'm just like looking ahead. I'm not even looking at where Coco is. Oh, that 
was beautiful. Oh, the heartbeat's going. The heartbeat is going. That's a good time to reposition my thumb. Not a good time to do that, though. God damn it. That guy caught me off guard. Go, 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 go. We also have a mask, which is very important. Yeah, because of shit like that. Okay, okay, watch out. Watch out for the nitro. Alright, I'm expecting gold out of that. Yeah, okay, cool. Awesome. That means, I think, that there are only one or two more areas to, um... Two more warp rooms to, uh, to get through, and then that's it. Then we call it a night for Crash 2, I'll move on to Crash 3. Which is very exciting. Uh, but again, I still think we're probably gonna finish Final Fantasy VIII first. Uh, which means I should probably start polling for the next game. At least coming up with ideas. And certainly, if you guys have any ideas of what games you would like me to play before, I mean... So far, I've been choosing from, like, the games that I own. Just to make things a little bit, um... A, a little bit easier. But, um, certainly, if you guys have any, uh, any suggestions, throw them on, um, on Discord or anywhere. I'd be more than happy to, uh, to, uh, consider them for sure. Three gold, one platinum stream. I know. It's actually two plat, I thought. Uh, hold on, let me, let me check. You know, I think we got two platinums on this one. There's one gold, one plat, one gold, one plat, one gold. So, yeah, three, three gold, two plat. Also, very satisfying that they're alternating. FFA not far off. Yeah, yeah, that's that's sort of what I'm what I'm getting at here, uh, which is great. So, we're, so again, I'm probably gonna start pulling for that game next. Uh, let's go ahead and save. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna lose the high bear, but we get the the cute, you know, crash stung by a bee face. We're on 20 out of 27 relics? Yeah. Because after this, just... The last warp zone here. Why did that one have to load? Uh, what? We are ready, Crash. <laughs> Didn't we do this already? <laughs> Hold up, have I actually not done this already? This is the alternate ending. It's like after you get all the gems. Digimon, because I took my time, makes everything easy at the moment. That's cool. That's that's the type of grinding that I like. The ones that really pay pay off in the end. Well, I'm not seeing a trophy pop for this, so we must have done this already. Yeah, we we definitely done that already, or did that already. Wait, hold up, is this the last... Oh, okay, hold up. So yeah, so I think this was the, uh... Yeah, okay. So that is the last area, so we only have one more area to do, okay. I guess it played because I went up. Yeah, there you go, okay, so if you go if you go all the way up, then it, then it triggers the, uh, the scene again. Okay, well that's cool to know. Um, I'm gonna try and skip it, but, um, so yeah, even better then, we only have one area left. Can I, can I, ah, uh, skip, there we go. Basically it triples my XP at the moment, dude, that's awesome. Uh, it's, that's, that's like having all the, uh, like the, the triple, uh, like XP material on like Final Fantasy VII. Makes everything level up super quick. So, hold up then. One, two, three... Oh, 
start this way. One, two, three, four, five. Where are the other two? I guess we'll have to find out. But, um... Anyway, so more about that on the, on the, on the next one. That's going to do it for now, guys. Let's uh, go, for, go ahead and switch over here. Throw a little bit of good music on. And I will say thank you so much, everybody, for being here and watching again. I'm so happy to be back. So happy to be back at it with uh, with streaming as well. And I'm so happy to see you guys here again. It was uh, very uh, invigorating seeing everybody, uh, you know, coming back uh, after the one week. Uh, it's, it's, it's always good to... Uh, to, to just get the support for sure um, I'm not gonna raid anybody today I know I know we, ju we just got back and I, I should you know basically get back into the full swing of things but um, th there's still a few things that I want to take care of before I have to go back to work see you welcome back again thank you so much Santa Pear. thank you very much buddy always love having you here dude uh, we will be back tomorrow though with more of uh, Final Fantasy 8 uh, very excited to go back to that as well as I mentioned. Uh, it'll be at the same time, so it'll be 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, whatever time that turns out to be for you guys, wherever you are. Um, and then, uh, yeah, be beyond that, it'll be Thursday, Friday. We'll be doing more uh, Crash and Final Fantasy as well. Uh, nice, nice to have you back there, Versace, as well. Um, awesome see you again. You you were gone for a while, and we were all starting to worry and wonder when you're going to come back to us. But uh, I'm, I'm happy to have you back again. Um, for now though, hope everybody has a fantastic rest of your day. Again, I will be uploading this onto YouTube right away. If you're watching on YouTube uh, and you enjoy the video, you know, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Maybe even the like. Always appreciate it. You know what was actually quick? I'll quickly tell you. Um, I tried, and this when this is why my data ran out like immediately as I as I got to the lake. Uh, the first thing I did was I took a video of the cabin that we were staying at because I don't know if you guys. Uh, read on the discord or not, but we ended up having a much better cabin than we were expecting uh, it, it was really really nice, so I wanted to share the crib with you guys But so I, I shot the video and everything and I was uploading it to I, I was tweeting it out and like Like 10% of the video loaded or uh, um, Uploaded and then that's when I told him it's like you have now run out of data Because uh, I guess uh, I only get like one gig a month so it was just like completely gone at that time. So I was like, well, this sucks. So I was never able to share it. But um, anyways, yeah, it was just it, it was just kind of a uh, kind of a fory, funny fail to happen immediately as the vacation started. Um, I, I already I think I got rid of the video as well. So unfortunately, I won't be able to put it on Discord. But I did take some pictures that I'm gonna be uploading later on for you guys. So you can always check them out there. Um, anyways, thank you so much, everybody. Hope everybody has a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.